Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm going to show you how I renovated this beautiful 1960s dressing table. Here's a picture of how it looked before. This is from about halfway through, so this is the point where I thought maybe this would be interesting to film. So as you can see, I've already done quite a lot of sanding. That was maybe the biggest job of this project was getting through a very thick, very faded lacquer that was all over it. Didn't want to use chemical stripper because I didn't know what it would do to the veneer, so it was just sanding all the way. Here you can see a little sneak preview as well of some legs that I bought because I felt like it didn't look great sitting on the floor and some legs would really add something. So I sourced some 1960s dressing table legs so the proportions are right, it kind of goes with the, with the look and the era. Where are my skids? So here I am sanding again, trying to get into some of those nooks and crannies and now all the lacquer is off so this is just a coat of wax to protect the wood while it's completely bare basically. There you go, you can really start to see the grain coming through there as well, which is just beautiful. <laughs> nearly yeah, stabbed myself. Really, really nearly stabbed, stabbed myself. Over. And now for several minutes, there's a good rant about the design of paint cans and why anybody would invent a container that can only be opened, be, only be opened once and then it seals shut forever. So here we go, mixing a new paint. As I was going through, I, I didn't really like the black. I decided it had too much of a kind of 1990s hi-fi cabinet vibe going on. So decided to go for a deep gray. So this is me just trying to get the color, a color that's really deep enough and, and one that I like. And here we go, first layer. Very satisfying this. So here are the handles, they're wood, they've been sanded already by this point. Uh, this is me making a little holder for them out of an old delivery parcel. And here we go with a coat of gold paint. And coming up to the best transition ever, thank you. Here are some pictures I took of the doors and cupboard fronts, so a bit of a before and after on those from being sanded. And now we're kind of done with all the main jobs and the first lot of sanding, and it's kind of a time to assess. I didn't like the way the handles looked, so I redid those with a different shade of paint. Probably about 10 more coats of paint on top of that because it's quite a thin paint, so I just needed to keep going with it. And this is me making touch-ups. This has had two coats now. Uh, some of the drawers didn't have runners, they'd fallen out. So this is Hubs taking over for a minute to make and install new drawer runners. So that's just to keep the drawers straight as they go in and out. Pretty low tech solution. And here's Hubs putting the back back on that we took off earlier to make the sanding a bit easier. Definitely made a big difference to getting into those nooks and crannies at the back. And this is the treatment that all of the uh, drawers got and the insides of the cupboards as well. So they've all had a good scrub, a good clean. Then this is a little light sand to get up any imperfections to even out the colour. And then they get an oil, boiled in seed oil just again to even out the finish and to protect the drawers as well. There's a really good view there of a repair also that we did on the on this drawer. This was the only one that was really, really bad. It, the front had kind of started to come off a bit and was quite broken. Here is Hubs making some new shims for the drawers, drawer handles. You'll see how those work in a minute. And for anyone that was watching my Instagram story when we did this, you'll now understand why I needed lollipop sticks.
and this is the hardware so each of the door handles has a has a cover for the back just to finish that off we've got some screws in here we've got the fixings for the cupboard doors all getting a good scrub to clean them up and then linseed oil again to give them a nice finish but also to protect them from rust So final sanding, this is with a really, really fine sandpaper, so almost a polish really, rather than a shine. Leaves an absolutely silky finish. And last coat of wax. And we're nearly there. So this is it, the final product. And I'm really pleased with how it came out. I love the wood, I love the finish, it's got a really nice sheen to it, that burr walnut is fantastic, the grain is beautiful, really beautifully matched in those pieces where there's a mirror. Um, I love the colour of the handles, so glad I changed those and so, so happy that I decided to put those feet on as well, I think it gives the whole thing a much better proportion, much better look. So follow me on Instagram, visit my Etsy shop and uh, I hopefully will be making some more videos so do subscribe if you want to see more.